My biggest regret is selling my Binance coin before it rocketed 50x in the past two years. And in retrospect, I should have seen it coming because exchanges make money like no other and Binance was the biggest of them all. But ever since I missed out on the rocket ship, I've been on the hunt for the next great exchange coin. And finally, I think I found a strong contender. It's called Woo Network. And with a market cap of around $500 million, I think it has the same potential as Binance coin before it took off. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a better understanding of this project and share my strongest bull case for it. But to understand Wood Network, we really have to start with a relatively unknown trading firm called Kronos Research. I bet you've never heard of them before, but what they do affects all of us in the crypto world because they are a gigantic market maker that operates behind the scenes and they trade billions of dollars worth of volume every day. Now they started off doing quite well for themselves, but they noticed some major pain points early on. Like liquidity was super fragmented in the crypto world and even the largest exchanges in the world couldn't satisfy the needs of a big whale like Kronos. All they wanted was to be able to put in large orders without moving the price that much. To get a little bit technical, that means they wanted greater market depth, tighter bid ask spreads, and things like that. So they decided to take matters into their own hands by creating Woo Trade. The initial vision for that was to create a deep liquidity network that big players could tap into, such as institutions, exchanges, and trading firms. And a key part of that solution is something called dark pools. These are liquidity pools that let you trade in the dark, which means no one can see your order resting in the order book. Now, guppies like you and I probably don't care about that, but big institutions and whales love that because it lets them trade without revealing their intentions. This is actually super important to their ROI because if they just go on Coinbase and put in a multi-million dollar bid, then the price is gonna move away from their order and they'd have to settle for a much worse price. So dark pools solve that issue and by offering these, Woo can bring on some huge whales to use their platform. But all this stuff about dark pools and liquidity networks is on the back end. So we end users don't really see any of that. Instead, what we see are several products that they offer, which let us interact with their liquidity. Like they have Woo X, which is their crypto exchange that offers spot, margin, and futures trading. And recently they launched a mobile app for that as well. Then they decided to dip their toes into DeFi by launching WooFi, which lets you swap, stake, and yield farm all with the same low fees and deep liquidity that they're known for. And to keep those fees low, WooFi runs on the BSC and Avalanche networks. Now, one of the biggest features that I haven't even mentioned yet is their zero fee trading on WooX. You heard me right, zero. But how's that even possible? Because they have to make money somehow, right? Well, long story short, they use a model very similar to Robinhood called payment for order flow. So they generate revenue from the market makers instead who pay them to access the order flow and execute the user's trades. One very important thing to note here is that trades are settled upfront with the end user. So you don't have to worry about getting front run by big hedge funds like people did in the whole Robinhood GameStop fiasco. Anyways, their zero fee model will save traders a ton of money, especially if you sling around heavy volume. But to get that benefit, you actually have to stake their Woo token. You need at least 1800 Woo in order to get the zero fees when doing taker or market orders. But if you only stick to limit orders, then you get 0% fees at all times. Now reducing the fee is the main goal of their token, but it actually has several other use cases as well. Like if you hold it, you can get airdrops from their portfolio companies. You can stake it to earn yield and you can participate in governance for their DAO. Now, believe it or not, this has only been an overview of Woo Network so far. And now it's time to get a little more explicit about what I'm most bullish about. But first, a quick shout out to our video sponsors, Revify. They are on a mission to build a better internet. And it all starts with their hotspot devices, which you can install in your home and office to join the worldwide Revify network. It's definitely not for charity though, because by sharing resources with other users on their network, you would get rewarded in the Revos token. So it's very similar to Helium, but Revify gives you more revenue in a token with better tokenomics, and their devices are jam-packed with additional features. Make no mistake, this is definitely not some small no-name company. 
They have sold over $1 million worth of devices in their first six months, and they have three patents pending on their hardware, and they're targeting a massive $11 billion market. So whether you are a consumer or business owner, Revify could be for you because you can install one of these devices and start generating revenue on your unused network or computing resources. If that sounds enticing to you, then check out my links down below. All right, back to Wu, and the first thing I'm bullish on is their adoption numbers. They're a pretty young project considering that they started in 2019, and their numbers at this stage are staggering. For example, they're currently doing around 600 million in daily volume, and their share of the total volume across the entire crypto world is growing steadily. In December 2021, they surpassed $21 billion worth of volume in a single calendar month. And even their DeFi platform is growing fast. WooFi surpassed 130 million in trading volume for January of this year. So my point is, the numbers look great and they really speak for themselves. But what could explain this meteoric growth? Well, I think their strategy could explain it because they've built something for everyone, whether it be retail guppies, institutional whales, or even DeFi users and they arguably offer the best experience for each participant. Like end users can enjoy zero fees and save a ton of money while trading. Trading firms can get a better way to execute their strategies by tapping into Wu's liquidity. And exchanges don't need to search for their own market makers anymore. They can just plug into Wu and focus on the other important aspects of running an exchange. These benefits aren't just theoretical, by the way. Popular exchanges like DYDX, KuCoin, and Nash Exchange have all integrated with Wu in some way, shape, or form. So I think their suite of solutions has really achieved product market fit, and that's why they've been able to grow so fast. But as we all know, it's not enough for a project to have great products and great adoption. They also need great tokenomics to succeed. Fortunately, Wu's got that area covered. They have this buyback and burn program, very similar to what Binance does. They take 50% of their revenue and use that to buy back Wu tokens and then burn them on a monthly basis. This means that their token model is deflationary in the long run. And if their volume continues to grow, we can expect more and more of their tokens to be burned. They're actually quite transparent about all that. You can go on their website and see all of their prior burns and the details are viewable on the blockchain. But on top of that, we can expect millions of Wu tokens to be staked by institutional clients who want to qualify for the zero fee API trading tier and also by other people who may want to earn 5% APY on it. All of this adds up to a drastically reduced amount of tokens that could be sold on the market. So with less selling pressure, it would only take a little bit of buying pressure to move the price up. And if we consider all the other use cases for their token, I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that demand will rise. Like token holders get airdrops from projects incubated by Wu Ventures. Specifically, 50% of tokens received by their venture arm will get shared across token holders. So far, that includes projects like Dodo and Sin Futures. And they're also planning on launching a social trading feature, which will let you copy trade other people on their platform. Per their documentation, you'll need to hold their token in order to access that. So these use cases plus other ones I haven't even mentioned yet are likely to increase demand for their token. Now, even with all these bullish points, I think they do have room for improvement. Mainly, I think they need to get in front of more retail users because I don't really hear that much buzz about Wu in my communities. So to address that, I think they should focus more marketing and also focus on getting listed on more top exchanges. That way more people can discover this awesome project and they'll have the ability to easily invest if they decide to. By the way, I just wanna be crystal clear here that this video was not sponsored by Woo Network in any way, shape or form. I just like this project a lot and I hold a decent sized bag myself. So the purpose of this video is just to share my thesis with you. Definitely don't go aping into this project expecting for the price to only go up because if this bear market continues, it can definitely drop way more. So just don't get mad at me if that scenario happens. Personally, I wouldn't care if that happened because this is a long-term hold for me and I'll try to stack some more if that price drops further. But in the meantime, if you want to discover another under the radar project, watch this video I made about Metis or watch this one about why it may be over for Binance Smart Chain. I'll see you on the next one and cheers.